So, hello YouTube. Today I'd like to do a video on the Helboy 177 BB gun. So, the rifle itself costs around about £180 in the UK. So for that £180, what are you getting? Well, for starters you're getting a M4 clone BB gun, which has been done very, very well. Um, it looks exactly like an M4, and the dimensions are the same as well. So it's a it's a one to one replica of the actual um, U.S. Army M4, which is quite nice. All right. It also has uh, a claimed FPS of 495. It's powered by a 12 gram CO2 bulb. It has a 18 round magazine and it also is semi-automatic. You also get, unlike some of the other uh, M4 clone BB guns out there, you get a metal and lower uh, upper receiver, okay, which is nice. You also get one times magazine pretty standard you get adjustable buttstock this is a six position adjustable buttstock okay it has a sling loop at the rear and it also has a sling loop on the actual castle nut as well it has a charging handle that you can actually pull back however this doesn't actually do anything apart from when it wants to release the actual dust cover, which is functional, okay? So even though this does work, it doesn't actually do anything. Same with the forward assist. It does work, but it doesn't actually do anything, okay? So if you get what I'm saying, it, it's like you can push it, but it doesn't do anything, okay? As this rifle is a non-blowback, it doesn't actually have anything in the upper receiver, it's just hollow. Okay. You also get a Picatinny rail up top for mounting optics. And the rifle also comes with standard iron sights. Okay, so this is your rear sight. Um, it's got a large aperture and a small aperture. I will say though, that is next to nothing useless. It's too small. Okay, you can't really see anything. It's not a very good sight picture out of that. Right, so you're kind of really stuck with using that one, which is okay. So it has adjustable for left and right. And also up and down, yeah? Right. Um, it just goes on and off like this. You just screw it on, screw it off into the Picatinny well. Now, it does come with a foresight. However, I've took mine off for obvious reasons. Um, uh, so I could use the actual red dot because this foresight does get in um, the way of, the, of your field of view um, with optics if you leave it on the rifle unless you buy the razors for it which I didn't really want to do so I took it off okay um, it's pretty simple to take off just take the two pins out here take a screw out but then you lose the um, front swivel as well for the second swivel. It does have a fake gas tube on it, so you lose that as well. Um, because when you take, because the handguard is changeable, you can change it. Just pull the delta ring back. You pull that off. Pull the uh, bottom one off, um, and then you can change the handguard. And obviously, when you're looking at it inside the rifle with the foresight on, you can see the gas tube running through the rifle. Even though it doesn't actually do anything, it's 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 fake. It doesn't do now. All right, but that does come on to my next thing here. Um, because I took the foresight off, which you're not really supposed to do. All right, uh, it did cause a slight bit of a problem, but it's nothing major. The problem is, is that this bit here. Sorry, I don't actually know what it's called on the handguard. It will, it won't stay in place, so it move back and forth, back and forth, etc., etc., which then makes the handguard here along here split 
All right, it doesn't come off the rifle because the delta ring actually holds it in, right? But it's just annoying where you have to keep pushing it shut. So what I've done is I've just taped it up a little bit. For me, that's not a major issue. For some people, it might be. Um, it's just a BB gun. Um, if it was an actual one of my proper firearms, like my Christopher and stuff like that, I, I wouldn't be doing stuff like that. But for a BB gun, it's fine. I don't mind. All right. So like I said, the handguard is actually changeable as well. Um, which you can buy most of the handguards out of BB gun shops, uh, soft shops and stuff like that, which you can change onto here. Okay. Um, the rifle's got a working selector. Yeah. Um, from safe to semi-auto to fully automatic. Uh, however, that's fake as well. That doesn't actually work. It, you don't. This does not fire fully automatic. It only fires semi-automatic. That is it. However, the rifle will fire um, semi-auto when you've selected full auto. So it does work, but it just will not fire fully automatic. So it just goes from safe to semi, fire, bang, bang, bang. If you flip that, it doesn't actually change anything. It just goes bang, bang, bang. All right. Okay. I don't think the um, A2 pistol grip is exchangeable with other pistol grips. Okay. I think you're kind of stuck with that one. And that's it. The rifle is feel strippable, however, there's not really much need to do it, and it is actually quite stiff to get the pin out, which is a bit of a drama. Yeah, I'll tend to have to use pliers or something to pull it out. It's getting a little bit less stiff for every time I do it, but um, there's not really much to do with it because, as you can see, there is actually nothing inside the upper receiver, it's just the fake charging handle that opens the dust cover. That's it, as you can see, there's nothing else in there apart from the uh, barrel so the lower receiver it's just got like the little trigger group in it um, and basically how that works is with the magazine in. oh you see that's a bit of a problem as you can see with the uh, putting the magazine in with the upper off you can push it through which it's not great right however that's been rectified now so it's fine right as you can see with the rifle um, off safe yeah there's a little bar in here that pushes against that here that pushes against this here yeah that's what releases the co2 okay there is no co2 in at the moment so that's why it's not doing anything but that's how you operate the, that's how the actual bb gun operates which is a good thing because if you get any broken seals or anything like that um, all you've got to do is replace the magazine, which I think is retail for about 40 quid or something. Um, you just have to change the uh, magazine instead of having to pay another £180 for a BB gun. All right. So I put the upper and lower back on, just push it back on, put the retaining pin in, um, and that's it. Done. The rear retaining pin does nothing. Um, it's just there for show. Okay. Uh, one other thing that I did actually forget to mention, if you take the foresight out, um, it's not very loose, so it's livable, um, but you can actually twist the handguard. You just tighten it back up, but that can twist, right? Just so you know, all right? Okay. It also has a uh, metal barrel shroud with the metal barrel inside. All right. So the magazine itself, uh, here's your magazine. It's based on the standard uh, GI magazines, um, metal mags, okay? Uh, but this is just a shroud, so what you do is you've got a little button here that you push in, and that will release the, uh, the actual internals of the magazine, yeah? And then you obviously have your um, internals where you put your CO2, okay? You get an um, Allen key with it. Uh, to obviously loosen the grub screw, yeah, right, that loosens it, obviously you take that out, you put a new one in once it's empty, and then you just tighten it up um, with the Allen key to pierce the canister and then to release the gas inside the magazine. You have to do this quite quickly, otherwise gas will go everywhere, right, the, um, then to load the magazine, all you've got to do is just pull down this little plastic tab, there's a little notch there that you push it in to hold it open so it's nice and easy to load. You get the BB, push it in there. Yeah, once you've loaded up 18 rounds, release it, you're good to go.
put the magazine uh, put the internal of the magazine back into the magazine shroud and that's it all right then all you need to do is to put the magazine into the rifle it does need a good nice stiff um push though uh, otherwise it's a bit of drama to get in as you can see it's you do have to give it a bit of welly to get it in there okay all right but that's all right magazine doesn't drop free okay but you don't really want these dropping all over the floor anyway because you'll end up having to replace your magazine um, so all in all you know it's a pretty decent rifle um, accuracy wise this was firing at 10 meters um, I don't expect a massive amount of accuracy out of it it's a BB gun it has a smooth ball barrel that's firing a round projectile um, you're not going to get max accuracy out of this and you're not going to get the same accuracy as what you'd get out of say an air rifle or something like that right because it does have a smooth bore barrel all right it's just designed for shooting tin cans in the back garden um, and uh, short range targets okay so to be fair though that's at 10 meters seven round group pretty small group pretty decent all right this is in the standard position and just basically Blatting off rounds and not really bothering about my uh, groupings, but just shooting quickly, um, rapid fire. So it, as you can see, it's all right. It's not a bad groups. It's not a it's not a bad actual uh, rifle. It's it's fairly accurate, but just don't expect max accuracy out of it. That's all I'm saying. All right. And then I was using these BBs, the Umarex Steel BBs, one seven seven. Okay. All right. So you know. The rifle's not too bad. It's worth 180 quid. Um, there are some others out there, like the Crossman, but they are a little bit more expensive. Um, for theory, for in theory, the same thing. Um, well, in the UK anyway, because um, in the UK we can't have that Crossman with fully automatic, so it has to be semi-auto. So I, that's why I decided to go for the Hellboy over the Crossman because it was metal for starters as well, and it was actually a little bit cheaper. Yeah. So there you go. Um, I'm glad I brought it, it's not a bad rifle, it's good to have, especially with this corona outbreak going on at the moment, um, you know, you can get in the back garden and do a bit of shooting, you know, so the site that I put on it, it's just a Milbra red dot site, only cost 30 quid, it's not a bad little site, um, it's got a green and red reticle which you can change, um, it goes up to power setting 5 on uh, both colours, okay, um, it's just your standard red dot. Um, it's okay for this type of stuff for a BB gun. You don't really need anything, anything else on here. You don't need to go and buy a two hundred pound red dot for a pound red dot to stick in a BB gun. All right. Um, so this is the box it comes in. The actual site twenty nine ninety nine. Um, so I'm just going to read off the box. I really from limited. It's a red dot. You know this magnification one times. Ob objective lens is thirty mils. Field of view is fifty seven degrees. Uh, tube diameter is thirty eight millimeters length is 95 millimeters it says it has finger adjustable turrets but it doesn't all right okay um i'll just take one off so you can see obviously you've got the turrets for up down left and right and they've got metal turret caps on them as well which ain't too bad um but you need to put a screwdriver or something in there for that to work you're not going to get that in there with your fingers all right Okay, it's got a weave amount of 17 to 25 millimeters. The battery is a CR2030. That is included. It says it's waterproof and fog proof. Um, the interesting thing is it doesn't say it's shock proof. It just says it's waterproof and fog proof. So I wouldn't recommend putting this site on anything with a bit of recoil on it. Okay, so like a Springer or, or anything like that. Really, this kind of site is suited for BB guns and um, airsoft sites. Uh, but I've had quite good results with um milbra Mil Pro, uh, products they're cheap and they seem to work uh if you check out my video on the crystal Fiance, um at 25 meters um i was using this site right and um it retained zero um and uh, i've got some really good groupings with this site so they're not actually bad milbra products are not bad but i have changed that now for a hawk on my crystal Fiance. um and I'm going to do a video on a Milbro um, 1911 BB gun as well in a bit. And that's a really nice gun as well. Uh, so in general, yeah, this is a nice rifle. It's pretty good. It's not too expensive at £180. Full metal. Everything's metal on it apart from the uh, butt, pistol grip and the handguard. Everything else is metal. Um, 
and it's, it's just a decent little rifle. Um, so I'm going to put some videos now of me actually shooting it, so you can have a look. Uh, but if you're looking for a BB gun, just to get into that garden and have a bit of plinking fun, really consider this. It's a uh, good value for money. Okay, thank you. Goodbye.